Out of Rockford tonight, a former Kmart will stay empty after City Council voted down a redevelopment project for the second time. And this is a big story that's been on and off Rockford's agenda for a while now. On your screen is the empty Kmart on East State Street, which has been like this for quite some time. The redevelopment proposal would have transformed into an indoor U-Haul storage facility. The item got another chance last night after Alderwoman Gina Meeks motioned to reconsider it a couple of weeks ago. However, last night, Alderman debated the practicality of these motions. Some said it would give the council a bad image, while others say it's a normal part of local government. To me, if Aldermen are switching their votes, uh, kind of ex post, fa ex post facto, uh, after a vote, it's indicative, you know, that we're either as a body, like not doing our homework um, the first time or being influenced, and it was a, a 10 to two vote last time. So I, don't, I just don't think it's a good look. A motion to reconsider are a mechanism that we have that allow us to do exactly what we've done. And the fact that we've done it three times in 12 months isn't a felony. With Alderman ultimately voting to turn down the redevelopment in a 7-5 to five vote, the space will remain empty. And 13 WREX's Emily McMinn spoke with Alderwoman Meeks and a nearby business owner who shared their disappointment following the decision. Clodius and Company sits just across the street from the vacant former Kmart building. Prior to the original vote on the redevelopment, 13 WREX spoke to the longtime jeweler who was hopeful for the possibility. Today, that has turned to disappointment. We are really were anticipating having some development here, but it, it's obvious that the plans were not suitably developed to really to go forward. But I really f was encouraged that someone cared enough to present something. And I think it could be a good starting point for something new to happen in the future. With the redevelopment plan scrapped, the company is now missing what could have been. Rising water will lift all boats, right? So the more business that's uh, uh, attractive will be beneficial for all of the surrounding businesses. After putting forth the motion to reconsider, Alderwoman Gina Meeks says she also feels that disappointment after thinking the vote would go the other way. I think it was, you know, ultimately the best plan that that was before us. And um, though I wish I had more um, that had shifted their mindset, um, it is what it is. <laughs> Despite this being the end of the road of the redevelopment for now, Meeks is not counting the former Kmart out eager to bring Rockford to an even higher standard. What we have are people that are wishing certain things will come here. And I'm going to tell you, at the end of the day, I want the city to have the best of the best. You know, I want what's best for Rockford as a whole. So if somebody comes in here and U-Haul decides that they want to change things up and they get all of their wishes, that's a win for all of us. Reporting in Rockford, Emily McMinn, 13 WREX. That former Kmart sits in Rockford's 14th ward, which Alderman Mark Bonney represents. Bonney voted against the redevelopment at last night's meeting, and there's no word on when something new could move into that property now.